Okay, in this video I'm going to do a bit of a comparison. I'm comparing the original 12.9 inch iPad Pro first generation with the iPad Pro 2 12.9 inch as well. The reason I'm doing a comparison is the screen refresh rate on the iPad Pro 2 is 120 hertz rather than the slower refresh rate on the older iPad. So in practice that should mean when you're doing the drawing you should notice less of a lag, less latency, and it should feel more like the real kind of pencil and paper. So you shouldn't notice a gap between the pencil and the line that you're actually drawing. So I'm going to put that to the test, see whether it's even noticeable in reality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some views from like this from above on both of them, maybe do slow motion, and then I'm going to do some views from an angle as well, a bit closer up so you can see perhaps again in more detail. So I'm going to do a quick gesture on here, kind of corkscrew, and I'm going to do the same kind of gesture here. I'm also going to do a line gesture. I'm also going to do a line gesture here as well. Do a zigzag. Do a zigzag. really fast and it keeps up. It's not a terrible lag, but it is slightly more noticeable. Slight delays and then the, the line test too, you can see Strong behind it more a little bit more noticeably. I think if you were deciding to settle for the older iPad, it's still extremely good. Very, very natural feeling, but there is a difference in the new one. So yeah, just on a side note, it's worth just observing. I've got all the settings exactly the same on each iPad, both in terms of the brush settings and the screen settings. But whether you can notice that it's not just because one has a pale border and one has a dark border. What well, the actual background, the light seems a lot warmer. Well, a touch warmer on the newer iPad than it does on the old one. There's a colder light with this, and it's not got true tone. It's not got the night shift things that setting on either of them. So that's everything off. It's just as default. Um, and yet there's a warmer, slightly warmer hue to the the newer ones than there is the original first generation one. So there we go. I'll probably do a full comparison and review of the newer iPad at a later point. I just wanted to show a bit of the comparison in terms of how the Apple Pencil actually responds to both of them. So please subscribe. I do lots of tutorials, look through my playlists, and I'll catch you back here again. See you later.